Greetings world, it is I, Andrew, the bearded lady from the Hairy Game Lords, and for Zatu Games, I'm going to review for you Taskmaster by Ginger Fox Games. What did I think? Find out. Brilliant. So, whether you are a fan or not of Taskmaster, in fact, spoiler, I had never seen this show before getting this game. And whether you have seen it or not, it doesn't matter. The game, it still makes a lot of sense and still is a lot of fun, uh, whether or not you're a fan of the show. Although, let me tell you, I started watching the show after playing the game and oh my word. If you have not seen Taskmaster, you are in for an absolute treat. Get involved. But I'm not reviewing the show, I'm reviewing what's inside this box. So let's take a look. You get your themed rules on the kind of thing there. If you check out the show, for goodness sake, just do it. But here are the rules for the game. Brilliant. Not many, not much there. Uh, and very straightforward. It's a party game. Uh, somebody, I can either play the Taskmaster throughout the whole of the game, or uh, if you want to swap it up, they can be the, the Taskmaster can be chosen at the beginning of each round. Excellent. There is a board. After all, this is a board game, uh, and the board features loads of different locations where the tasks can take place, and you also get to draw uh, different people, or the players, uh, for the scoring. There's Nick Welford, of course, recognisable by those ears. Here he is, Honest Meeple himself, Tom Garner. Brilliant. Beautiful. Brilliant fun with just that, just the scoring alone. And there is a whole load of paper so that you can draw and cut out those pictures. And these are little whiteboards here, so you write on the scores as the game progresses through. And then basically, it's a game where the Taskmaster will read out, depending on the location of uh, different players, uh, we'll read out tasks. This one, for instance, is the kitchen task. Wrap something unexpected in a tea towel. Hardest item to identify wins. You have three minutes. Your time starts now. Now, this is a game that you either play this in a house that you don't mind getting wrecked, or you, as a taskmaster, you can go through and prep a whole load of these uh, tasks. So it, there's enough tea towels for everybody. So it's not a mad dash into the kitchen, destroying everything to grab a tea towel and something else. There is loads and loads of brilliant tasks in this game. Check out this wad of brilliant cards there. These are all fantastic funny, brilliant um, tasks in here. Different ones for different locations. There's kitchen, there's living room, there's lab, there's garden. So you're going to find different things and link different uh, objects, different tasks into those things there. Also, everybody is given a secret task. Brilliant. Everyone's given this at the beginning of the game. No one knows what this is, apart from the person who is reading it. <laughs> so this one here, sulk visibly but quietly every time you fail to win a task. Now this is a little bit like the don't get got from Big Potato. Basically, you have to do these things and if at the end of the game nobody picks up what the secret task was, you get points for it. Excellente. At every opportunity, talk about what you had to eat yesterday. Brilliant fun. Now these uh, obviously are, are, are tasks, but 
sometimes they're forgotten, sometimes they're uh, done way too obviously, but a great way just to bring in that kind of meta game into what you're playing. A lot of fun. And then at the end as well, there is a final task. Now, what's great about this is, say for instance, um, you've been playing it where uh, everybody has been taking it in turns being the taskmaster. The final, the final task has everybody involved in it because you have a QR code which you scan of and it takes you through to a brilliant video by the guys from Taskmaster who will take you through what their final task is. Fantastic, absolutely brilliant. This is a fun, fun game and one that you can play around the table, sat around this board, or one that actually works really well over the internet. Now that we're into a bit more of lockdown times and maybe gaming with other people physically is harder to do, this game works so well over Zoom. We have uh, on our Zatu weekly show done this a few times where I myself has played the Taskmaster throughout of the show and it is brilliant fun. If you were well organised, a little bit like uh, Hipster King is and the Hairy Game Lords, you could send out via post or delivery a few of these tasks that then different people in your games night can read out over the course of that game played in their own locations for everybody to have a go. So again, taking it in turns to be that Taskmaster. This is a game that you should certainly get if you enjoy having a laugh, if you enjoy the kind of that dexterity, if you enjoy having a good fun. This carries the party game theming and feel through so well. And in fact, I would say if you want a party game, this is most certainly one to get and play. Brilliant fun, brilliant laughs, get involved. Oh yeah, did you get what my secret task was? Did you? It was to say the word brilliant at least five times. See ya. Brilliant. 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 Brilliant.